Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. Uh, we're just doing a big old slug fest today. You can see right here, this is our brand new, oh it's not brand new, it's new to us. NEF 12 gauge, three and a half inch chamber single shot. This thing weighs about five and a half, maybe six pounds at the most. And uh, we have some loads cooked up for that thing. That white hole you see right there is one of them. It's a two and a half ounce slug and also have a two and a half ounce number four buck load. Those are coming out of there at 1100 FPS and that is putting out 104 pounds of uh, felt recoil. Pretty heavy, ain't it? Yeah. That's uh, I'll put it this way, a 950 JDJ has 200 uh, pounds of uh, felt, um, free recoil force. That's half of it. You guys are about to see some absolute insanity, the recoil out of this thing. Then we have the 835. Josh has got some uh, really nice sights for it. When they say high vis, they ain't kidding with those. <laughs> and this right here is my 32 gauge with a rifle barrel. You can kind of uh, put it in the same family as those H&R Ultra Slugs, you know, the 12 and 20 gauge ones. This is kind of the same thing, but in 32 gauge. I saw this gun right here, this partner, at a uh, pawn shop, which is literally right across the road from my house. Paid 160 for it, and someone, it, it is a hand-painted, you know, paint job. Kind of ugly, but it's not the worst I've ever seen. It does have a chip missing right here. That's kind of ugly. Has a uh, gun clean sling does have a built-in recoil pad so i guess it ain't gonna be the worst thing to shoot but still these slugs right here were sent to us by mr hollow point they range from uh, 440 grains which is basically an ounce right here all the way up to 1082 that's a two and a half ounce slug with a screw in it like i said 1100 fps we're gonna chronograph these mm -hmm. at hopefully. yeah hopefully at uh, roughly 25 yards and just see what happens. If you guys want to know more about these and how I put them together and stuff, go check out our Rumble. Uh, just search how to make socket slugs on Rumble and you'll find us. Or uh, I may be able to link to it in the comments. I'm not really sure about that anymore. I had a video pulled last week uh, because I linked to... Uh, I don't even know what it was to be honest. Alrighty guys, today we've got some hollow points from none other than the Mr. Hollow Point itself. This first one I'm starting out with is 440 grains. A big old hollow point. But anyway, Scary since we don't have a rifled barrel, there's a screw in the center of it screwed to a wad like a Brennicky style slug. This one here is loaded with 37 grains of long shot with a X12X gas seal. Uh, Special short competition wad. That's exactly what it says. 440 grain slug. Yep. This is roughly uh, right in between ounce and ounce and an eighth payload for the slug. Yep. We're going to shoot it over top of the chronograph just to see what kind of velocity we get out of it. And we're trying to hold dead center. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but there's a red circle. It'll be a little more recognizable when we get down there. But I guess without further ado, let's see what happens. Hit a little bit low. That sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, left and right was good on target, but it was low. Hit low. Okay. But, Shoot the next one. Uh, the same, and we'll see if it's consistently low. All right. You still recording? Yeah. All right. All right, guys. This next one, once again, is still 37 grains of long shot. X12X gas seal and whatever that watt is, he said. Special short competition. Right. The only the only difference is this one weighs 460 grains instead of 440. This one is exactly ounce and an eighth with, with the screw. Yep. I'm still going to hold dead center on that red. We'll see. Fifteen sixteen. That one had a little bit of thump to it. That one hit dead center too. Yeah, it hit where I was aiming at. Fifteen sixteen. They They aren't tumbling. I can see from here those holes are... Uh, yeah. That's but good. That one there, uh, hall looks fine, don't get me wrong now, but I smacked my cheek with it. Yeah. 
Hair wheel. Gun snappy. The gun is snappy. The eight the 835 just wasn't uh, wasn't doing it for us. We need oh, something so that will kill we us. We got a single shot three and a half now. Yeah. Good God. I don't know if you can recognize that smiley face or not, but that's none other than the Pringle man. He got lucky. But as you can see, they're not tumbling. They're flying. Dead straight. Flying true with that wad screwed to them. Just I can't wait to get true. the ultra slug. What is it? Oh, the ultra slug? Yeah. Just I can't spruce. wait for it either. Yeah. I'm not the most accurate failure in the world, but I'm pretty proud of that one. I'm not either. I'm a pretty inaccurate. There's a reason why we like shotguns. Right. I'm shooting the next two. We got 29 grains of long shot and a three inch should I haul. X12X gas seal, a Remington figure eight wad. Uh, it's screwed to it and a 630 grain hollow point slug. This might be a little bit brutal. Should be moving uh, around 1225, I would say. We'll see here in a second. Yep, I might take this sling off. It's kind of getting in the way. Yeah, it put my face up in a weird spot. Wow. Dude, I've seen pieces of that tree falling back there. I don't know what I hit, but wow. <laughs> What'd you say they run? Oh, uh, I was guessing around 1225. Did I say 29? Yeah, that was 29 grains of long shot. That sounds actually about right for that weight. Yeah. Boys, there's a big hole down there. I got a camera too. You can see pieces of the trees behind it falling out. That slug had some uh, serious energy. Yeah. What's this next one you're shooting? Right. Uh, brand new three inch shutout haul, 37 grains of blue dot, X12X, an eighth inch fiber cushion wad, uh, 70 thousandths nitro card, the super mini wad, the little green one, and attached to it is a 700 grain slug. <laughs> Boy. I'm guessing 1066 on feet per second. Uh, I'm gonna guess 1250. <laughs> I'm gonna aim a little bit left of center, yeah. Mr. Mustache, because, uh, well, that's a giant hole. Yeah. We tend to be pretty good at making holes. Pretty much right where I was aiming. Yeah. What I guess, 1066? Yep, we have 1118. There's another 1118. Uh, misreading. I don't know if it was or not. That had a lot more recoil than that other one I just shot. Yeah, well, let's walk down here and see if he's tumbling or not. That one punched me in the face too. Did it hit you in the face? Yeah. It got me in the face in the first one I shot. Now are only getting heavier. That recoil pad doesn't really feel like it's doing much. I want to pull that slinging thing off the side of it. That thing's, it puts my face in a bad spot. Yep. <laughs> the one over here was not tumbling. This one over here wasn't neither. It was a perfect circle cut. I don't know what it hit behind it, but oh, never mind. Maybe it was tumbling. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Hard to say. Hey, no, look. You killed Mr. That shrapnel from the tree yep, behind it. Right here is the first shot I took, dead center, right where I was aiming. The other one over here is again right where I was aiming. There, you can see the hole that way. They are not tumbling screwed to the wad. And there, you can see a i get my hand behind it here so I can push it. There we go. Yep. None of them so far have been tumbling. No, I want to take him to, uh, hold on a sec here. The stuff we've seen falling, oh, good golly Jesus, guys. That's what we've seen coming out behind target was that. The wood? Yeah, you have yep. to step around here and take a look. That's pretty I can impressive. see it through the hole. The, uh, the wood blew off and blew through the papers what it was. Yep. You can see it in video clear as day, too. Ooh, that's, that's a... I would hate to get hit by that. Yeah, I don't want to hit by that neither. I don't think nothing does. And here's a close-up of the holes. No signs of pressure whatsoever. I got to say, these slugs are pretty impressive. They're hitting right where we're aiming. I'm sure Josh just pulled that first shot he took because the other three that we fired have been pretty much point of aim. These next two should be uh, interesting to say the least, especially this one right here in the white hole. I got this gun just so we could shoot uh, three and a half inch 12 gauge slugs. You can see right here, 
where that slug dug right through that and just kept on going. Like it wasn't even there. Alrighty guys, we're getting to the point now where I ain't for sure I'm gonna hit that little red circle, just in all honesty here. These are starting to get pretty brutal. But this one here is 34 grains of blue dot, X12X gas seal, half inch fiber cushion wad with a special short competition wad. It's a 760 grain slug. I don't know how fast this was running. We're getting ready to see. The load data said it would be 1300 FPS. Well, we're getting ready to find out, I suppose. Would y'all believe me if I told you I'm pretty sure I hit Mr. Pringles again? You did. Dead center. <laughs> but, no. Chronograph didn't read that one. No, that's my fault. The hull, look, that was actually the softest shooting one yet, believe it or really? not. Really? Yeah. It's the blue dot powder. Yep. Hull looks fine. Primer? Looks fine. Yep. Solid load. Let's walk down here, look at this. All right. That was one of them, ah, this ain't gonna be fun. I might have missed completely. <laughs> I don't think I hit it. I didn't hit it. How'd I miss that? Huh. Well, oh, I see the hole. Where? Right here. Oh. My bad. It wasn't tumbling. Nope, though. it wasn't tumbling. Or it could have been this one right here. I don't know. But no. those weren't there before, were they? I don't I don't know. That's my fault. Sorry, guys. This one here is from a socket slug. If you look closely, you can see the green and uh, the ridges from the uh, socket. That That's a perfect there. circle. And that was not there before. Accuracy? Well, that ain't a good test for it, but it's still flying true. Right. I think you just pulled that one. I did. I'm probably going to pull the one I'm going to shoot too. Yeah, it's all right. Not looking forward to this. Uh, we have 43 grains of little gun, brand new Shadot, three inch, uh, three and a half inch primed hull, the X12X gas seal, an eighth inch fiber cushion wad, the uh, Super Mini, the little green wad, and a whopping 1,082 grain slug. It's 2.1 or 2.51 total uh, payload. 2.46 if you just count the slug. Two this, and a half ounces. This should be moving 1,100 FPS. Should be anyway. N29. What do you think about that recoil, buddy? I'm never shooting that again. We shot two and a half ounces of it the other day. This is... Those ones we shot the other day have nothing on this. Ah, okay. Let's walk up here. How's the hull look, actually? Hull looks perfect. Nothing wrong with it at all. Brutal, was it? Ah, that may have been the hardest ticket thing I've ever shot. And I've shot some pretty hot stuff. Yeah. Let's walk up here and see if you hit the paper, even. That's the amazing part. Oh, my shoulder's not even red. It doesn't hurt anymore either. So. More of a sting. Yeah, that was more of a, uh, somebody hit me in the shoulder with a ball bat, but now it doesn't hurt anymore. Right. Yeah, you missed. How did I miss? I don't know how you missed. How did I miss? Uh, those slugs might be so big and heavy that they are just kind of going off right Cause when i pulled that trigger i eased into it real slow i had to dead center and uh as right. you can see it didn't hit it so those slugs are probably just too big for a uh, a a smooth bore attached to the wad you probably need a rifled barrel for those yeah but as you can see we had two of them yep you can see how perfect they's flying too actually these two and this one and uh that one. Right there. yeah these three I know were point of aim. Yeah. Yeah, I might have pulled that one down. I'd say so. Ah, well, on for some more fun shenanigans, though. Yep. Thank you again, Mr. Hollow Point. We appreciate it. All right. I'm shooting that water jug right there. It's a gallon. Same load as that red one he shot. We have 34 grains of Blue Dot X12X half inch fiber cushion wad. Uh, and a 760 grain slug screwed to the uh, short shell wad.
or the uh, special short competition actually. Goodbye. Once again, the hall looks great. That wasn't that bad. No, that's what I said. That's, that's pretty soft shooting. Would you like to shoot the white one? I can, I suppose. What was... Uh, that's not part of anything we shot. Yeah, that wasn't... I know what that is. The bottom of the bottle, ain't it? That is literally dead center of the jug. Yep. <laughs> I was trying to find the slug, though. If we can't see where it hit at. It was sitting here on top of this log, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't think we're going to find that one. This one here is the two and a half ounce load. It is 43 grains of little gum with an X12X gas seal, eighth inch fiber cushion wad. The green super mini wad, the 1,082 grain hollow point. I see what it does to the gallon of water though. <laughs> that was buttery smooth. How was the recoil? Not bad at all through this. I didn't figure it would be. That's why I, that's why I opted out to shoot this. Hall looks fine again. I didn't just pull a choke out to shoot that. Yeah, we, we don't have any chokes for the 835 that aren't ridiculously tight or modified. I think the biggest choke we have is uh, 680. That modified one, it's... Oh yeah, what is it? I don't know. Uh, I think seven four five seven five five. It's in the car. It don't say what it is on it. Huh? But we did have somebody send this uh, send this to us. It so. don't say what it is. It just says a high flyer. It's modified ten gauge. Yeah. All right, I have one of the uh, four forty grain slugs from Mister Hollow Point. Thirty eight grains of long shot, the X twelve X special short competition wad, and the uh, four forty grain slug. I'm curious to see if that bottle on top of the jug goes up in the air. Nope. It just Stay fell. Hall again. Looks fine. Alrighty. So those big slugs are uh, just awesome, aren't they? Big thanks to Mr. Hollow Point for sending this, um, these to us again. We still have three of them. We wanted to save these rather than just shoot water jugs with them. So if there's anything you guys want to see shot with these, um, just let us know. Obviously, it can't be nothing like tannerite or uh, food. We don't want to shoot food up there. That'll just cause a mess and, you know, attract wild animals, and we don't really want that. So, uh, again, if you got any ideas, just let us know. Now, these did carry quite a wallop. A lot of destructive power with them whenever i hit that tree we have the patterning board stuck to it blew off all kinds of chunks behind it and uh i've yet to see that with any of our uh, testing up there so that was pretty funny to see uh i did notice well we did notice that the uh the big long slugs the 1082 and the 760 grain slug did not seem to be stable out of a smooth bore even with it being screwed to a wad yeah, it just, uh, well, mine didn't even hit the paper. And, we, yeah, we did look around for it. Uh, it did not hit the board, the two boards above and below the paper. And uh, it was not on the hillside behind it or the dirt around it, so we really have no idea where that one went. Uh, it seemed that one was um, horrifically unstable. Uh, it would um, require a rifled barrel. Now, Josh does have an H&R Ultra Slug coming, um, well, we're not quite too sure when, but hopefully soon. That'll be a huge welcome addition to the family, you know, all of our guns. And uh, it'll finally give us access to a rifled barrel 12 gauge. But we want to give a huge thank you to Mr. Hollow Point for sending us these. They're a great looking slug that carry a ton of energy, you know, that huge weight they have. 
you know, normally 12 gauge slugs are one ounce to at the most one and a quarter ounce with the Federals. Brinicky does load up heavier slugs, but those are almost impossible to find right now. And uh, you can take these and load them up just as powerful. I didn't do that, but I could have if I wanted to. I just figured we didn't, we um, don't have a rifled barrel, so better just stick with standard velocities this time. Um, I wanted to give these the best chance they possibly could out of a smooth bore. I think we got good results. But anyway, um, again, thank you, Mr. Hollow Point, for sending us these. Uh, you guys go check them out. And uh, if you got any questions, comments, or anything, leave it in the comments section below, and we will get back to you. Please like and subscribe. We greatly appreciate that, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. One more thing before you get out of here. Go check out our Rumble. If you want to see uh, how I put these slugs together, can't post it here on YouTube, as I said earlier in the video. Yeah, I just can't do it. Um, YouTube don't like slugs, and uh, I don't know why. I've seen other people do it here on YouTube, but uh, I just don't want to risk it anymore. So, again, if you want to go check, um, see how I put these together, go check out our Rumble. All you have to do is search um, how to make 12-gauge socket slugs or search my name. I'm not really sure how Rumble works, but I think you can find me on there if you just do a little bit of digging. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys in the next one.